Welcome to Escapism. Today we're going to be dressing in randomly chosen aesthetics from the Aesthetics Wiki page. Am I jumping on a two-year-old TikTok trend? You bet. If you have not checked out the Aesthetics Wiki page, not Wikipedia, I highly recommend it. It is so choice. With that in mind, I work better with a little bit of limitation. I'm going to develop some rules that I can use to make this as creatively fulfilling a video as possible. One, it has to be from the Aesthetics Wiki page. I'm not inventing anything. Two, it has to be items that I already own. I can't make anything new for this video. I can't buy anything new for this video. Three, each of these aesthetics is going to be chosen with a random number generator. I'm going to copy paste all of those aesthetics into a Google Sheet, at which point I will then just count the cells down when I randomly generate a number. Is this science? Because if it is, I think I finally understand science. Guideline or rule number four is that if the aesthetic is futuristic or contemporary in nature, I have to try and find a way to make it more historical or vintagey. Rule number five is all of this has to get done today. I'll be editing it tomorrow. All of the filming has to get done today. So I'm going to select all of the aesthetics ahead of time and probably pick way more than I'm going to need. Then I'm going to choose the outfits and then I'm going to shoot the reveal shots of the final outfits. It is 1.45 right now, so I'm going to start by selecting our aesthetics, and then we're going to get this show on the road. Let's go! Alright, so we're in the built-in cam mic right now, so apologies if there is bad sound. It has become abundantly clear to me as I'm going through the list is there are definitely a few that are 100% off limits for me. So this is another reason why I'm putting it in the Google Sheets is so that I can kind of vet stuff so that I can save myself from any, you know, surahs from that particular thing. So we have our list. I'm now going to use my phone to go to random.org, which by the way, a plus website. If you know anything about the sort of computational mechanics and difficulties that are involved in actual random number generation is a whole like subfield of science computing. Effectively, there is no actual true way to have randomly generated numbers, but this is as close as possible that I can access. Um, that is the nerdiest sentence that I've probably ever said. And if you know me, that means something. I'm going to generate these numbers. I'm probably going to do like a screen share so that you can see the numbers that are generated so that I can, I don't know. I don't know why I need to prove that I'm doing this genuinely randomly because man, the internet is weird. Are you thinking about that? I'm thinking about that. The internet is weird. I'm trying to convince you of a premise that I invented that is absolutely has no stakes attached to it. I'm saying that it's random, you are trusting me that it's random, and therefore I'm feeling like I have to prove that it's random. I'm gonna go have an existential crisis and come back and uh, we'll pick our things then. Okay, bye! So I haven't grown three feet, but my clothing rack broke. I'm gonna start picking out outfits and uh, we'll see oh, how far we get. Let's get going.
There is a risk 
with postmodernism more than anything in the world that I have experienced of being so far up its own butt in terms of just being so pretentious that I am going to be treading very carefully here in the silly side of things. I am also desperate for y'all in the comments to chill. <laughs> this is silly. This is fun. And if I have to read any comments that start with actually and continue to tell me about postmodernism I am feeling the most unbelievable urge to do monologues from A Midsummer Night's Dream. I'm just gonna bust into Puck speeches. You know what? Fuck it. It's my YouTube channel. If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended. That you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. And this weak and idle theme, no more yielding than a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend. If you pardon, we shall mend. And as I am an honest Puck, if we have unearned luck to now escape the serpent's tongue, we shall make amends ere long. Else the puck a liar call. So good night unto you all. Give me your hands if we be friends, and Robin shall restore amends.